Good morning, my darlings, and welcome to a new vlog. Starting the vlog today in my gym attire. I'm about to go and stretch my body with some yoga in the gym. I'm probably just going, I think Charlie's on the Peloton, so I might use the Vaha, I might find a YouTube video, um, but I've popped on this aubergine colored set, which is really nice. You might remember we were actually given this in Oman. Um, I love the top, especially. It's from a brand called Vuori. Vuori? 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 V-U-O-R-I? And I love a square neckline on anything, <laughs> and a square neckline on fitness attire I think just gives a little bit of a trendy edge. And then I've got my Bamford t-shirt over the top. I'm actually wearing <laughs> these sparkly little trainers, um, which are quite fun. They're from APL, and they're actually a bit too small for me, but I take them off when I get into the gym anyway. As you might be able to see from the dome there, Charlie and I had an LED night last night, which... Sounds like we went to some kind of cool club, but no, we just did LED um, red light therapy on our faces last night, which was great fun. I'm hoping things are going to perk up a little bit today. The, um, the rapeseed, the yellow flower that you can see in the field, is starting to come into bloom. Did I tell you already, apparently farmers don't, well, sorry, growers don't like um, fields of rapeseed because apparently all the bees that would normally pollinate other things just get so excited that they go straight to the yellow fields and they don't pollinate anything else. So I really hope that having this right opposite us this year isn't going to negatively impact my kitchen garden because that would be a tragedy. Sorry, I'm in a weird mood this morning. <laughs> I need to go and stretch. <laughs> that was the weirdest thing I've ever done on YouTube. I'm gonna get to gym, get in the shower, and then we can have a proper catch up. <laughs> what a dork. I've also just realized that there is a strong chance that a lot of you guys are too young to know the song Tragedy by Steps. And that is a scary thought. Good morning, Dexy. Have you been sleeping like this all night? <laughs> You're silly. Look at those teeth. You're such a silly little doggy. And yet, I'm in love with you. Ooh. Okay, my darlings, freshly showered, and I'm gonna pop on a little bit of makeup with you, a little bit of makeup slash um, a fresh spring glowing makeup look. Bridal, a little bit, but a little bit bridal inspired, just because that is what is filling my head at the moment. I'm gonna start with the Merit Beauty Great Skin Instant Glow Serum. Do you remember my first impressions of this? I was so thrilled with how this made my makeup look all day. It just gave me an all day long juicy glow that just makes you look so healthy. I put a couple of pumps in the palm of my hand and just really enjoy putting this on my skin. If you want to get that gorgeous glow, but you don't want anything that is going to be too heavy on your skin, I would definitely recommend giving this a go because it almost has the effect as though you've just put on the most beautiful skincare oil, but there are no ingredients within this that are gonna clog your pores. Really beautiful, fresh ingredients. Um, that just gives you the most gorgeous glow and perfect I would say for all skin types as well it feels a little bit hydrating um, but also if you have got oily skin which mine can get really oily in the day then somehow this just balances everything out so that's what I'm going to start with I do tend to leave that on my skin for, <laughs> for a few minutes and just let my skin enjoy the goodness of that before I go in with any makeup I am going to do pretty much a full face of Merit Beauty today. Really exciting that Merit are here in the UK now. I have been really impressed with everything that I've tried from them. Your first order, you can get this cute little bag, which is just absolutely adorable. It's like this little brown cord bag. So handy for keeping all of your bits and bobs in. And just all of their products, they're vegan, they're cruelty free. I think it's free shipping over $40. Everything just blends together so beautifully. So whether you want to have a really nice natural everyday look or whether you want to build it up a little bit more and get something a bit more dramatic, I find that Merit has 
the perfect buildability, if that's a real word, for the products. Okay, I'm gonna use the Mineralist. Minimalist, <laughs> minimalist, I always call it the Mineralist. And this is essentially a complexion stick. You can use it if you are having a bit of a no makeup makeup day then you could just apply it on the spot on areas that you just need a little bit of extra coverage or you can literally scribble over your entire face um, and use it as like a foundation. I always like to start with the areas where I do need coverage because it's so blendable. You can use your fingers, you could use a sponge, you could use a brush. I think I have a merit brush somewhere. Gosh, I don't have my ring light on. <laughs> Is that better? Okay, so I would say that this is level one if I was doing a really natural everyday makeup look. I'm actually gonna put this straight in my gym bag because I feel like this is all I need to put on my face after a workout. Um, my shade is Ochre. The Mineralist Perfecting Complexion Stick. Yes, um, really handy for on the go because obviously you can use it as a concealer or as an all over. Now I did, um, okay, that's my ochre backup. Right, linen I would say is a tiny bit warmer than ochre and I'm gonna use this to build up um, in areas where I want a little bit more coverage. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just so creamy. Normally with things like this, I kind of expect it to be a bit chalky. Um, but the fact that this is so creamy, mixed in with the most perfectly prepped base, thanks to the Great Skin Serum, just perfection. And I find that the different ways of applying this, with fingers I would say is the lightest finish. You can see I'm using a little bit of a stippling motion here and that maintains a little bit of the coverage. Don't worry, I'm gonna go in with a second with some bronzer and we will bring some life into my complexion. I feel like quality wise with these Merit products, the consistency, the packaging, it all feels super luxury, super premium, um, but you're not paying at these insane prices that you can get for comparable products. result of my complexion just blending it all into my neckline let's go back into my merit beauty bag okay this one is a little bit deeper again this is camel all the shades do blend in together absolutely fantastically you just saw i used ochre and linen this i'm gonna save for my josie has been out gardening and has got a little bit of a tan on the face that will be my next color up but um you could also get a super deep shade and use it for contouring but i'm actually going to use their bronzer it is a cream blonde blonde bron bro bronzing balm and i have got the shade which is clay because of its i mean look at this packaging stun arello because it's like this, you can use it like a pen. So you can just glide it on. Oh my gosh. If like me, you are unskilled in the contouring compartment, this is a really great, I would say, contouring for beginners. I will not attempt to give you a contouring tutorial because you probably have never seen me contour on this channel ever before. But I've watched other people do it. They put it under their chin. They put it to the side of their schnoz. I mean, even that, I've not blended it in, but even that, I can see how that works. So incredibly versatile, the fact that you can draw on your face, you can draw um, contour and shadow, or you can use it, as I will probably end up doing here, just blending it in so much that it becomes, oh, I mean, look, that was like seven taps, and I could walk out the house like this and it's not patchy, it's just absolutely gorgeous, oh gosh. I can so see why like everyone raves about Merit. The, I think the secret though, one of the secrets is this first thing because if you have got that perfect base to get everything kick-started, 
I can't believe how well that blends in. That is just stunning. Not forgetting under my jawline. I'm just using the same brush for everything. So I've blended that in quite a lot, so that's given my overall complexion a little bit more colour. And what you could do is go in a second time for a bit more of that contour. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm putting it in the right places. You guys can let me know. Oh look, it just vanishes into the skin, leaving you with this subtle shadow. I love it. Love Orama. Do you know what? I'm going to put some of this on my eyelids. Oh, yes. <gasps> Can you see this? It's like that perfect creamy glossiness. And I love when you have a product that you can use in more than one place. So versatile. I'm going to get another one of these and put this in my gym bag as well, actually. Oh, my God. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, it's just the perfect amount of like glossiness and colour. I hope this looks as amazing in camera as it does in real life because it honestly looks so good. Right, what's next is in the goodie bag, which is my favourite blusher. Um, Stockholm is probably, I would say, if you are going to go for a kind of bridally, um, fresh, spring, juicy, healthy look, Stockholm is a gorgeous blush. And because everything is so blendable and so creamy, you can use your fingers for everything. In fact, oh, look how pretty that is. Isn't that just pretty is the colour. I'm going to put it on my lips too. Oh, <laughs> that is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I think this is the healthiest my complexion has looked in a very long time. Right, let's just sort out the brows. The, oh, the Merit Brow Gel, has it got an official name? Blonde Voluminizing Pomade. Always comes out the other end. I always think it's gonna be that way and it's that way. Just like, just your classic bristle brush, but it deposits the perfect amount of product into your brows and it sets them as well as depositing color on them. Um, so you can brush through your brows, you, if you have got really good brows and not too many gaps and you could definitely get away without filling your brows in, do you see how it's just lifting them, separating them and also because I have got blonde brow hairs, especially here in the middle, it puts colour on them so it's almost as though I have had a brow laminating appointment. Oh, I love it. I could actually quite happily go out the house just like this. Um, I haven't put any additional lip on, just the blusher. I don't even have mascara on. How many products is that? Great skin, minim minimalist, bronzer, brow gel, blusher. Is that five products? Am I missing something? Five products on my face right now. And I am absolutely obsessed. However, <laughs> I am not the only one that is obsessed with this mascara. This is the Merit Beauty Great Lash Mascara. You will have heard so many people raving about this. It is a tubing mascara, which essentially coats your lashes in like a tube of mascara so it does not flake and yet it comes off so easily because the tubes like glide off. So what I'll do, do I have a cotton pad? Let's pretend my Wild Nutrition <laughs> supplement sash is a cotton pad. I'll hold the cotton pad on my lashes for like five seconds. It's very relaxing and then glide it and it's almost like the tubes are coming off your lashes which in my head is also much better for your lashes. I'm just gonna give my lashes a quick curl because I'm overdue. A, an LVL lash lift appointment. Quick little curl. And now, so the brush is just a classic brush. It's really the product that will blow you away. 
These products are all paraben free, sulfate free, no nasty ingredients when it comes to fragrance or chemicals. Um, so I don't have any issue with putting it close to my eyes and having it on my skin all day. I'm sorry, but can you see that? Like straight away. If I was doing a really natural everyday makeup look, just was that like five or six strokes would be more than enough. I'm sorry, but this skin is so glowy. <gasps> Love. I'd actually call this a facial in a bottle because you just look so healthy. So that would be perfect, like I'm so happy with that. But I am gonna go in with another coat just, just because it never clumps up. Uh, Merit actually teamed up with a Hollywood facialist to come up with a no list of ingredients that they will never use. And so all of their products just contain only the loveliest of ingredients, which I think is such a wonderful concept. And it really does show in your skin. You can get the most amazing makeup look without compromising on the ingredients that you're putting on your skin. Look at that. I would say this is the, this is the best that my lashes could possibly ever look, considering I'm so overdue a lash lift as well. I'm so happy with how that looks. <sighs> I really hope this looks quite as incredible on camera as it does in real life. Right, last but not least, I have got a wonderful selection in my gorgeous little bag of lip products. So, I'll start with the one that I've been using the most, and this is uh, Baby. And it's just a really nice, it's obvious why I like this one, spring, fresh, natural, kind of brownie pink. Should we do some swatching like an old school beauty blogger? So. That is Baby. I will probably end up wearing that. Um, next one, which is a little bit deeper, is Millennial. And this is my mum's favourite. Millennial has got a little bit more... It looks a little bit um, purplier in the tube, but actually it's a really pretty pink shade. So that's Millennial. I know that that is a lot of people's favourites. Then we've got Carbo, and this is so striking for special events. It's just such a flattering, corally red colour, but the perfect tone of red that is beautiful for so many different um, skin colours, skin types. And then we've got their beautiful lip oils. These are so hydrating. Uh, tinted lip oil. This one is in the shade Le Deux. I love this for... It's very, very subtle. Can you see? It's almost got like this tiny little hint of coraliness to it. Super hydrating, great to apply in the middle of the day when you just need that little bit of juicy colour and hydration. This is a fantastic one for on holiday. Maraschina? Maraschina? It's looking very subtle on my hands, not sure if you can see. But it just gives the slightest your lips but better. So they are gorgeous. Um, and then finally, I've got Naturel and Taupe in the tinted lip oils, and I would say that these two have a slightly more intense colour to them. Do you see that? It's quite a lot more colour payoff. That one being my favourite to combine with the baby lipstick, I'll show you that in a second. And this one is taupe. A little bit more brownie. I would say slightly more autumnal, but still very wearable for this time of year. So. That is baby, just the prettiest colour in the world. I'm actually just going to go ahead and layer everything up. And this is Millennial. They're the kind of lipsticks that you want to apply in the middle of the day as well because they're so balmy. They are almost like an actual full-on balm and then if you apply a lip oil over the top then my goodness that is mega hydration for your lips this is such a flattering color this is Au Naturel isn't that just 
the most gorgeous lip color. I think it is so beautiful. I cannot even begin to tell you how comfortable that is to wear and you've just got super duper hydration on your lips. The lip oil is so juicy and balmy and comfortable. Um, okay, I'm gonna go and wash this off my hands and sort my hair out, but oh my goodness, I'm blown away by Merit. I can see why everyone was so excited when it had come to the UK. I had not heard of it before, but I'm not w with it when it comes to like the cool new things, but then suddenly everyone was like, oh my god, Merit Beauty is coming to the UK. And I didn't really understand what that meant, but now I've tried all of these all of these amazing products and I understand the hype and hopefully you can see here just a really nice example of how you can use the products to do such a pretty natural glowing spring makeup look and I love it as you can tell so darlings I will leave all of the Merit Beauty products that I have worn um, and shown you and spoken about down in the description box down below Hello my darlings, not sure if you can see or hear me, um, but I'm on the road and a very last minute little dash out the house. As I was doing my makeup earlier, I kept thinking actually I would really like to get my lashes and brows done and I thought I will just message Rosie. Rosie lives in Ilmington, which is about 15 minutes away from where we live and she does LVL lashes and brow lamination. And I thought, I'll just message her. And she was like, I've had a cancellation this afternoon. So that is where I am on the way to right now. Um, because it was super last minute, I just literally ran out the house. Luckily, I have got on the coziest outfit because I was just planning on doing some email admin this morning slash afternoon. Um, so perfect cozy outfit to snuggle up in Rosie's little um, treatment room for the next couple of hours. I actually couldn't find my car keys upon rushing um, out of the house. So I'm in the Defender. I haven't driven this car in quite some time and I forgot how absolutely ginormous it is. It, I feel so much more high and on top of the road. I feel like I'm driving more of a tractor slash van than I do when I'm driving my car. Um, but it is such an epic car to drive. I do love it. As you might be able to see behind me, it's full of junk. Like I don't even know what he's got this car full of. There seems to be a carpet in here. There's like lampshades, goodness knows what. Um, but yeah. And by the way, I'm so happy with like considering I've just been at my desk for the last couple of hours. I feel like my skin and my makeup just looks so good from earlier. I'm so happy um, with my current skincare and makeup routine. So yes, very happy. Happy, but not happy about the weather. <laughs> Still grumpy about that. Anyway, I'm rambling because I can't actually turn the camera off until I get to a traffic light. So I'll just, I'll just shut up and drive. Shut up and drive. Actually, I'm going to carry on listening to this Zoe podcast about eating nuts. The best fit in food. Good morning, my darlings. I feel very dressed up for a Thursday morning. I'm actually not wearing this today. I'm probably gonna end up wearing this. However, we've got a very fun day ahead of us. Um, but before we head out and before I tell you what we're gonna do, I'm just very quickly this morning trying on three dresses which were in my last net of porter order um, because I'm basically probably gonna return whatever I'm not keeping <laughs> from that order today. So I wanted to very, quickly do a little try on and I've been getting a lot, of, a lot of questions about like wedding guest outfits and I thought that this one in particular is perfect as a wedding guest outfit. I've just curled my hair and I'm letting it drop so excuse the crazy hair. So this is the most gorgeous floral um, as you can see, pink dress. It is a self-portrait number. It's actually got in a bag here <laughs> the belts for the dress. Um, so yeah, it does come with a little belt, but actually I quite like the simplicity without it. The fabric is beautiful. I love these big flowers. Um, it's very, very long. Can you see? This would actually be a really nice bridesmaid dress as well. So if I was to keep this, I would need it shortening by at least three inches. I'm actually on my very, very tiptoes here. 
but the fabric and the colour I think is absolutely gorgeous and I feel like this will be the perfect wedding guest dress for a lot of weddings this summer. So this is dress number one. Okay my darlings, sorry can you tell I'm rushing? This is dress number two. This is from an Australian brand called Alame. It doesn't come with a belt so naturally I've added my own raffia belt. It's a little bit sheer but luckily it does come with a slip underneath. Again the florals are just gorgeous. I think these are almost like green anemones which is so beautiful. <laughs> I think I'm definitely going to keep this one. It's so lovely, it's very elegant. Could actually be a good one for today um, but I think we're going to be outside a little bit today so maybe not but yeah I'm definitely going to keep this one so this one is not going to go in the return pile and actually for the sake of time I'm not going to show you on now <laughs> the third dress because I am definitely going to return that one but I will show you a photo of when I tried it on last week it's pretty but it's just a little bit too big um but yeah this is my erdem from last year I think they have bought out something very very similar this year which is currently sitting in my net porter basket so because this one is slightly warmer and slightly longer sleeved I'm gonna pop this one on for today we're gonna hit the road and then I will explain what is happening sorry <laughs> I will explain what is happening today Okay, and a very quick outfit for today, my Erdem dress from last year. Oh, I feel a little bit rushed, so not as glam as I would hope to be, but I've popped the same belt on. It's got the lovely fluted sleeves. This dress was a huge investment last year, and it's one that I'm really glad that I made because I wore it a lot last year, and I'm going to wear it a lot this year, um, and it feels, it's just so lovely. So I've popped on little Aquazura heels. And I'm just using this Jumanji bag a lot at the moment because it's nice and spacious um, and yet the raffia details all go in together. I am going to need a coat because it's chilly. So I'm going to grab that and then I'll hit the road and I'll finally explain where we're going. Okay, we are almost at our destination and brows are looking very bold after my appointment yesterday. My hair really clings to colour and it always takes a couple of days for my brows to calm down a little bit. So I'm um, looking quite bold today, but lashes are just amazing. I've not got anything on my lashes today, which I love. So we are actually now in Hampshire. We've been driving for a couple of hours and we have got an event today with Arga. We've never spoken to anyone at Arga before, um, but obviously have got an Arga or two ourselves. So really looking forward to meeting the team and um, chatting some a little bit, maybe learning a little bit more about Argas, but we are quite literally one minute away, so I will see. So we've arrived at this beautiful space where we're going to have our Arga and Taylor Howes education session. I think we're going to have a little cooking tutorial. And this Arga here that's in the home has had a little makeover where it's got the brass details, which Charlie and I have very much got on our wish list. Our um, contraption here is so old that it's starting to fall apart, so I think we are very much due an Arga makeover, but look at this in the almost rose gold, it's almost matching my watch. So beautiful. Up and down temperatures from a high heat to a lower heat. We're going to cook on R8 in the um, roasting oven, which is the standard Arga heat. I don't like to always sort of do it as a temperature saying it's around 230, 240. So I would say this is amazing for, for how controllable it is, how you can do it to what you want. So you can turn the tops on without turning the rest of the ovens on. You can leave it on a slumber mode so that you have a lovely heat, a radiant heat into the room. And then you can turn it up when you want it. So it's flexible and controllable. And that is a new third. And have a cutlery joint. Charlie's kitchen oh, tidiness yeah. OCD is in a very happy place oh, yeah. right now. Yeah. Look, they're even like a double no, whammy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My demos. Yeah, I've sell, got, I've got, sell a lot of kitchen ovens. <laughs> and I keep seeing yeah. things that I've sold to <laughs> <Yeah. years. laughs>
are back home again. I actually had a little nap in the car on the way home, so I've just popped on some very cozy clothes for the rest of the afternoon. It was a two hour drive, really scenic drive from where the event was today. Um, and we have got George and Petra coming over for dinner this evening. So we are going to be putting our newly discovered Argus skills to the test tonight um, for dinner. It's gonna be great to catch up with Petra in particular about her new job, how their first week of living in the Cotswolds has gone. So yeah, it should be a really lovely evening. But today was just absolutely glorious. It was the first time we'd met the Arga team and um, Charlie and I both thought that we knew everything there was to know about Argas but we actually learned so much today. Um, we were both very impressed actually with some of the sustainable efforts of the brand from the fact that actually a lot of the iron that is used to make an Arga is not iron ore. It's actually recycled iron. It could be from a car, it could be from I don't know what other iron things can you melt down and I think only 30 to 40 percent if that of the agar is actually iron ore um, and also obviously an agar is for life but say you buy a house and you um, inherit an agar with the house but you want a bigger one or you want something a bit different like we are in this situation then they have a swapping program where they'll come and collect your old agar they might actually break it down and turn it into something new and you can get a new one and the agar that we saw today was the agar that um karen from taylor house interiors has done in collaboration with agar her signature color is that beautiful deep navy blue and she is also a huge fan of copper finishes it was really lovely to see the home of an interior designer and all the beautiful finishes that she'd done there how beautifully designed her kitchen was and that was a brand new like top of the range Arga fully uh, customizable controls with the temperatures so she said that in 20 minutes you could turn a normal oven heat into a grill oven it was just amazing to see the versatility of the new Argas whereas I don't think that we can actually change or we we can't like decide an exact temperature on ours can we darling what did you think of the new arga of the new arga yeah because the one that she had was like a brand spanking yeah, new one i think it's one of their new models and they've been around yeah. for a while though yeah They're, i think but it had like a full-on digital in in the control panel whereas ours is all dials it was fully digital did you see yes i did yeah i was yeah. gonna say i think i think what it's made us realise is this is a very old electric Arga, it might even be an Arga. That's been converted. That's been converted, because ours has this, Ooh. which is the electric method, mm. um, whereas it's got a much snazzier setup. I think yeah. today, obviously today wasn't all about learning just about new Argas, it was more about... Cooking. Um, yeah, and talking all things interiors, wasn't it? And we loved being there. Yeah. I think what it has done is further sort of emphasise that we really need to do a load of research when it comes to doing this mini project we want to do in the kitchen mm. with what we want to do with this what was exciting to hear is Arga have like a trading scheme so yeah you, so because there is a lot with this Arga that isn't quite right i think not just the color now we know about the electrics and how much more efficient the new ones are the mm. fact that you can turn literally these on independently yeah. Yeah. so for example in the summer we can turn these on in the morning and within an hour they'll be warm enough to do toast breakfast mm -hmm. uh whereas rather than having to turn the whole thing off and on. So yeah. I think both from a financial perspective, saving money, an environment perspective, knowing that, because I just don't like the idea of taking this out, and replacing it, swapping something, that's yeah. really great. Yeah. If they're gonna use this, refurbish it, or even just break it down and put it into a new mm, Arga, mm. that makes me feel less guilty. Yeah, um, so it was amazing. I didn't know that Arga do, so obviously they're modular, you can like get more Argas and stack them up um but i'd never seen one before with an induction pad on it yeah you? i wasn't mad on that actually i <laughs> i prefer a separate induction really i didn't like how it looked oh um but what it did show and we won't ever be able to have this and we're super lucky anyway we've got three ovens in this because obviously mm. the roasting oven the baking oven and the simmering oven but in reality it is amazing to have that extra two ovens if you're doing loads of baking and stuff yeah. like that, which is what um, Karen. Karen had today, which was amazing. Mm. But no, it's it's more inspiration. It was great chatting to the team at Arga. They are more traditional in terms of marketing approach. Hopefully you and I are gonna chat to them and we're obviously super passionate about Argas. Mm. I grew up with one, so 
not just from a business perspective would we love to work with them, but we'd love to work with them because they're a British brand. Yeah. They're made in the UK, which we actually I weren't didn't fully aware know. of. Oh yeah, I thought they I were think made they in the need to talk about that more. Yeah. Um I think I heard you saying about the, the recycled material that's used in them. Yeah. So there's loads to talk about. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, it, traditionally, they are used to heat the home. They are the heart of the home well, because they quite literally heat it. This heats these two rooms. Yeah. Our underfloor heating doesn't come on. No. So, I, look, I don't know the ins and outs of this using electricity versus us burning oil for the underfloor. Mm. But off the top of my head, I think that's still probably better for the environment. But mm. it's not just about that. It's also about... It's the cosy factor. It's also about the fact that it heats and cooks, so it does two things. Yeah. Turning an oven on and getting it up to temperature, that must use a lot of electricity. And doggies yes, love and, Argus. And absolutely love it. This is the most popular seat in the house. It Even is. I sometimes sit here. Me too. In the morning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Dexter and Dickens literally, they can't. Fight in. for it. I wish we could film it properly. Like, they sort of tactically both know that that's there. And they boot they each other out of the way. In, but it's this bit here near yeah. the Argus. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get cooking, mate. So. What's on the me and you for tonight? Well, we're doing a Riverford recipe, but this is for two people. Mm -hmm. And there's four of us tonight, so I'm adding a few bits and pieces. Okay. So it's chicken, asparagus, and kimchi noodles. Ooh. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna grate some, or I'm gonna spiralize some carrots, put them in there for a bit of added nutrients. Are you actually? And we're gonna do chicken thighs in there rather than um, chicken breast. We've got quite a lot of chicken thigh. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be lovely, and you're gonna help me. Jolly good, Dexy! <laughs> Look at this view from our bedroom window, technically our bathroom window. The sun is just hitting the rapeseed field opposite and it literally is like fields of gold. What a beautiful evening it has become. George and Petra have left. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my camera's doing weird things. Petra's got work early in the morning, so not having a late night, which is <laughs> great for Charlie and I. Just so happy that they are nearby now and hopefully these impromptu evening dinners will become a regular thing. My battery's flashing and I've only got three minutes of footage left on this memory card so not the longest vlog in the world but I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I wanted to bid you good night. I've just popped on my cute little Holland Cooper pyjamas and I'm going to take my makeup off. Is that a combine harvester? Surely it's not the right time of year for combine harvesters. I don't know, I'm learning more and more about farming every day, but I oh, can't believe what a, gorgeous win what a gorgeous view this is. Especially when the sun just makes the fields look like they're glowing, it truly is magical. Fingers crossed, spring is actually coming because it feels like it's been the gloomiest start of the year. We've not even had, we've not even had the hint of a heat wave yet, so hopefully that is coming. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Do check out Merit Beauty. I'll leave it linked, all the products linked down below and everything else that I've worn and spoken about in today's video. And um, yes, that is all from me. So thank you for watching. I will see you very soon in the next one. Good night.